All right, guys, we got the first bout. Getting ready to kick off. In the red corner, none other than John Rivera. And on the other side of the ring, we got Quentin Wagner. And this is the minute bout, I believe, minute bout.
We had Justin and Hartstrong out of the red corner. And uh, Justin from Lashley's Training Center. Lashley's Training Center. And in the blue corner, we have Hartman John again. And that's Star City Boxing Club, you guys. Star City Boxing Club.
And that box is sponsored by American Legion Post 30, guys. American Legion Post 30. We're here with about three guys. We're going to go ahead and announce the red corner. We have from Gazzaro's Boxing Gym out of Erie, Ohio, Abdullah Gazzaro. And out of the blue corner, from Fresh Experience Boxing Gym out of Cleveland, Ohio, we have Riley.
from Columbus, Ohio, we have Isaiah Collins. Four hands. 
Jump, throw, right back, keep it back. Let's go, Carter. Come on, keep going. Everything you got. Let's go, let it go. Let it go. Come on. Just run it. Just run it. Come on, let it go. Sheep. Come in.
supported your family members and it takes blood sweat and tears to come to these fights see your family member in this ring and feel that emotion and that adrenaline and whether they win or lose you're there for them and I have such an appreciation for all of you guys that come out and support your family members and your loved ones it is so important to continue to do this Jamie, you're phenomenal for doing this. I know I got Danny, who's out here too with Steel City Boxing, who support these young uh, men and women who want to fight. And listen, always remember, you can see these fights now as amateur fights, but you can see them as professionals. And this is why you're here. They need your support. I'm selling raffles, 50-50, FYI. Um, we're selling baskets. Jamie's mom, she's right here selling baskets. Please support. All this support brings you these fights. You're able to come out and support your family member through these, this support system. Please continue to do that. Again, I completely understand these boxers. Give them a round of applause because it takes a lot to get into this ring. And it takes a lot to give a round of applause for the family members and friends that come out and support these boxers. Vets spend their lives doing this. Thank you so much, guys. Please support tonight so that we can support everybody else from this day forward. We're going to do this again. We're doing Scotty. Thank you. This is for your dad. This is the first annual um, boxing match for you guys. I look forward to doing it next year again. Guys, thank you so much. Out of the red corner. From Steel City Boxing Club here from Lorain, Ohio, Elijah Chapman. And out of the blue. 
Blue Corner, representing Cleveland, Ohio, Fresh and Spare's Boxing Gym. We have Brayden and
jab. Put your right hand straight down the middle. One, three, two. So, how I got involved with boxing, 
was going to different fights with my dad when we were growing up. And he loved the game of boxing. And any time I got to spend time with my dad, that's what we did. It was here in the ring. This is where I grew up. Before he died, he told me, he said, Scotty, there's seven things for you to do. And on the seventh, seventh one, he said, I want you to find Freddie Meadows and I want you to build him a gym for the kids in the ring. So in 1995, I went and found Freddie. And Freddie was in the old Harrison School in the basement. And he had garden hoses, his ropes, his gloves were tore, his equipment wasn't, wasn't too, too good. So I looked at Freddie and I said, Freddie, you know, I, I, you know me growing up, and my dad gave me strict instructions to find you, because we're gonna build you a gym. So we got the community together, and, and uh, it was a very special time. So we built that gym. And we had over 70 kids at one time uh, in that gym, off the street, staying out of trouble, setting up discipline. We had people like Wilkins and Jamie there. And I watched these guys grow up. I was a big part of their life. Wilkins is like a little brother to me. I've known him since he was a young man. And he's very important to me. I watched Jamie cultivate himself as a fighter out of our gym and then watch us develop shows. So we took the next step and we started developing shows and really organizing. And Lake Erie Boxing was a big part of that. We, Lake Erie Boxing, thank you very much. And uh, they helped us out, set up fights. We had some of the biggest and best fights ever. Is that right, guys? And we've had over 3,000 people one time at the old Admiral King High School for a fight. And we raised money and we did things and we got people involved. And uh, I'd like to recognize some people. So because of these people, as a kid hanging out in gyms, going to boxing matches, I was inspired. So I want to recognize Pete DeSantis, Pepper Martin, Tommy Gray, the great Carl Gamina, Joe Gentili, who is here with us tonight. Joe, the champ. Joe Gentili, a round of applause for Joe. This man right here inspired me to get involved in boxing. His son Lorenzo, Lorenzo please stand up. Childhood friend of mine. Italiano like my son. So we're very close. But these guys, and then no other than Freddie Meadows. Someone that gave his life to boxing, to kids. And we're very proud of Freddie. Freddie is my mentor, he's my hero, one of them and Wilkins and Jamie, right? I cry up here, I'm a grown man, and I'll cry. But they were the men that inspired me. And then some boxers inspired me, like the great Baber Moon. I was 10 years old and Baber took, took me under his wing and he was a champion, he was great. He didn't have to spend any time with me and he invested in me. And look at the return on investment, you're looking around it. It's a great thing and I'm very proud of it. Guys like Ricky Quillis, world champion, childhood friend. I cried when I watched him fight. I was so passionate about watching Ricky from my hometown. Uh, Carl the Stuff Griffith, Michael Griffith, world class fighters, came out of our area. Um, and then you have the great Wilkin Santiago. And a hurricane. The hurricane. How old were you, Wilkins, when, you, when we were together? You want to hear the whole story? <laughs> well, it started back in 89. Uh, I was nine years old. I come out of Freddy's Boxing Club. Everybody knows Freddy. He's been around forever. Um, and at that time, you had to be 10 years old to actually fight. And I don't know if you remember, I told Freddy I was 10, but I was really nine. That's how bad I wanted to get in the ring. So to make a long story short, he found out my age, he told me it was a big liability issue, so I had to give it up. Really, I didn't give it up, though. I stayed in the gym until I turned 10 years old, and that's when my career took off. Um, I had Scotty definitely supporting me when I turned professional, even in the amateur. Scotty always looked out for us. Scotty was always there with open arms, open heart. 
And if you guys don't know him personally, he has a big heart, man. Big heart. He loves to help everybody. You know, all of us, uh, all of us who came from nothing, man, he's always been there to help us and give us that extra boost. That anything is possible if you work hard for it. So Scotty's that type of person, and I just would like to say that I love you, brother. I'd also like to recognize, and I'll make this, you know, it'll be short. I'd also like to recognize uh, Jamie's uncle, uh, the great Eugene Jimmy Ruiz. We're talking about a tornado, We're talking about someone that could let his hands fly. That, that was the man. You got that right. So now, now let's go back to 1993 real quick. All right, so, actually let's come to today. So, we're so proud of Jamie Clark, uh, because Jamie's a byproduct. You know, as a businessman, and everyone knows I'm a pretty aggressive businessman, I've always ran a race. I've always set someone up ahead of me, found mentorship. I'd run behind them, I'd learn. And uh, through Freddie, and through Wilkins, and through myself, and others, Jamie was inspired. Not to just be a boxer, not to just be a trainer, but to help kids. That's what it's all about, you know, it's, it's all about that. And that's what we do this for. So I'd like to recognize Jamie. Jamie is one of my heroes now. And uh, he's elevated to a place where we're very proud of you. And again, I'm a grown man. You get me all emotional. So I, I, I can't. You're like a, you're like a kid. One of my kids. And I'm very proud of you. Um, so, to, to to close here, I have to just make sure I I go through this because it's important. But Jamie is the future. Uh, we'd like to recognize Freddie's boxing, Steel City boxing, and um, and uh, Lorraine Hughes. Uh, legacy, uh, youth, uh, legacy Youth Boxing Club. And uh, I want to thank all of you because, uh, you know, you're here, you're supporting kids, you're supporting boxing. The sport of boxing is a wonderful science and it develops discipline and character building and that's what we're really doing it for. So thank all of you and may God bless all of you. And last but not least, we'd like to donate $2,500 to uh, this event and uh, the PC Campana Corporation and family is very proud and uh, we're very proud to do this. So that's for you, Jamie, and your, your, uh, your boxing gym. No, I just really want to thank all you guys for uh, for coming out and support uh, events like these. This is uh, this is a great big deal, um, especially for for my gym. Um, you know, we started off you know during that COVID year where you know we really couldn't do anything. This is just amazing of how you know we progressed you know through those hard times and here where we are right now. So, like I said, I just want to thank everyone. I want to thank Scotty. Um, I want to thank you know, Wilkins, Dana for everything. Um, and, you guys, you know, my supporters, uh, but most importantly, I want to thank my kids for, you know, for trusting me, believing me to be their coach. Thank you guys, because without you guys, we wouldn't be here. All right, so I, I think that's an admission. Um, I think we're good to go. Thank you. Introducing first. Out of the red corner, we have Ethan Dos Santos. And on the other side of the ring, out of the blue corner, we have Ray Barnes. Let's go, fix the game, man. Right. 
guys. This bout is sponsored by Moted by Millie, you guys. Moted by Millie. And your winner, out of the blue corner, Anthony Reed. Redeem team, Columbus, Ohio. We have Albert Reeves.
Hold him here. Let's go, right there. Right there. Go, pass him right there. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Come on, turn out. Turn out. Come on, turn out. There you go. Throw it. Shoot that up, Shoot it. Work, work. Work. Shoot it. Move that head. Right there, right there, yeah, right there. Go, body head, body head. Body head. Body head. That's here. Oh. Oh, I'll take care of the Double up front. Double up front. Come on, get fresh. Where are you recovering? Get fresh. Come on. Let's go. Turn around. Turn around. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Block. He's blocked. Right here. Let's go. Right now. Boom. 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 Pressure. Pressure. Appreciate everyone coming out, guys. 